Kyle Shorber here with another Code Wars challenge. This one is a level seven, and we're doing it in Python, and it's called Triangular Numbers. So as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes if you want to try it out before watching the video. Uh, and I kind of had to stare at this one for a while. It was pretty tricky. Um, first off, the formula does not make sense to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do basically a for loop. So basically, they're giving you an example here. So six is a triangular number because all sides of the triangle have the same points. So six in this case is the total number of points that you would use to constitute a triangle, right? So what I'm going to do is there's six points in here, and you can see that all sides are are equal. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a for loop, and I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to go all the way up to we're eventually going to subtract our count from the total until we get to uh, either a 0 or a negative number. Uh, and in that case, if it's 0, we'll return true. So that may not make sense uh, right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say while t is greater than zero, what we're going to do is we'll start a level. We'll say, OK, level one. And what we'll do is we'll subtract the level from t. So we're going to say t plus equals, or no, t minus equals the level. OK, so at some point, we're going to whittle down the uh, value here. So I need to increment level here. So we'll do level uh, level plus equals one. And so as we grow the level each time, we're going to be subtracting it from t. And so at some point, we're going to hit negative. And so uh, we're either going to hit zero or negative. So if we hit zero, I think we have a, an equilateral triangle. And if it's negative, uh, then it's, it's not equilateral. So what I'm going to do here is this, let's return whether or not t is zero. So I think this is going to work. All right, that's good enough for government work. <laughs> I had no idea how to do that formula that he gave me, but I'm sure it's a helpful hint if you understand what the hell you're doing, but I don't. So this is good enough for jazz.